Hello, I'm Kelsey Grammer, and uh, welcome to the new set of uh, Fraser, or Dr. Fraser Crane. I'd like to show you around my new digs. Well, so this is uh, Fraser's new apartment and uh, his tastefully decorated condo. Oh, for your information, um, this is approximately where the Cheers bar used to be. Norm used to sit over here. For those of you who don't know, this is the same stage that uh, Cheers was shot on. And we just threw them right out of here. And uh, this is about where Fraser usually sat. I like what you've done with your apartment. Thank you. You have some beautiful things. The settlement is final, Lilith. <laughs> Television's in here. That's going to be a big part. It's like uh, we're going back to All in the Family, where the TV was in the foreground and Archie sat in a sort of loathsome disposition at all times, right in front of it. Uh, that's not, however, what I do. The real clue here is the veneer. Veneer! Yeah. <laughs> The style of decorating is, as we say in the show, eclectic. If you've got really fine pieces of furniture, it doesn't matter if they match, they will go together. It's your money. <laughs> this is the radio station. Very exciting. We've got all the kind of, you know, necessary equipment around to make it look like, a, you know, a phony set. This is where Fraser sits and takes his calls and doles out his advice and uh, his little board there and his microphone. And Notepad, make sure he's doing a responsible job. Over here we have the, the sound technician, Roz, sits over here and runs the show and uh, makes sure the commercial tapes get played right and you know, bangs on the window once in a while to remind me that I'm screwing up in my job. So, Lilith, seven at my place? Sounds great. <laughs> and this is the, the coffee house. Uh, this set serves as a a place where information is uh, given, and uh, also if we're stuck in the other two standard sets over there uh, for some kind of a new story point or a plot point. The food is real, not particularly my taste, because uh, as I've always said of bran muffins, uh, there's a bowl of granola in every bite. You just want me to agree with your decision and uh, support you, whether I share your opinion or not. Yes, but I don't have an opinion in this case. I'm sure you do. But I don't. Well, then I can't help you. <laughs> no, it's not the same character. That's the beauty of it. Uh, when we first started talking about the possibility of playing Frasier in another show, uh, my requisite uh, request was that he be the next manifestation of Frasier, moving into another kind of world where new demands will be made, and of course, the beauty of Fraser is he adjusts to new information and new situations, and has always become a different person than he was like the season before in Cheers or whatever. And uh, that's why he's still fun to play. My practice had grown stagnant, and my social life consisted of well, hanging around a bar night after night. <laughs> what stays the same is his uh, what's the word? His sort of posed uh, intolerance for change and yet his ability to always roll with the punches. We're seeing his brother and his father and him living with a, a health care worker. It's just a whole new set of circumstances that hopefully he'll be able to shoulder very well with a bit of, uh, you know, protest. That is dear as I'm sure that this piece is to you, I, I just don't think it goes with anything here. I know! It's eclectic! <laughs>